I just enjoy the game and I enjoy what it's all about. It's about the sights. It's a good catch. And sounds. Cotton candy! Of America's favorite pastime. <laughs> and it all traces back to the back. How many of those do you make a year? About 800,000. Wow. At the Louisville Slugger Museum, lifelong baseball fans like Glenn Donnellan. They used to be air drive, but that process took, long. took too long, yeah. Come to see how the famous bat is made. I've been waiting to come here for a year. But Donnellan's interest. Yeah, that's what they do with violins. Air drive. They, they leave the wood out for years. Goes a little further. Ah, and it came on. Than most. So this is my battle in made out of a Louisville slugger. Are you guys from Louisville? Donnellan, a member of the National Symphony Orchestra, has played the violin since age four. A couple of years ago, he married his childhood loves of baseball and music into one amazing instrument. And I just fell in love with the sounds that you could make on an electric violin and uh, thought, I've got to have one of these and figured out uh, how to make one out of a baseball bat and got a Louisville slugger. It had to be a slugger for me. The classical musician fiddled around with it. When I made my first one, uh, I made it backstage at the Kennedy Center between concerts. He kept fine tuning. And then I'd come down and I'd drill one hole and then I'd go back and play some more. In no time, the electric slugger was born. And you can see the strings start here. They come through the bat. Go down here, go across a bridge that picks up the vibrations and sends that to a guitar amp. From Flight of the Bumblebee to a little Chuck Berry. That was a thrill when we played with him at the Symphony One Capital Concert. You name it. I love Chuck Berry. <laughs> he can play it. I go play for the Rangers, I'll have to play this in the seventh. This is what they do. And it turns out, little uh, Cotton Eye Joe. A Louisville slugger isn't Donnellan's only connection to the Commonwealth. He grew up listening to the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe. <laughs> the sight and sound of the electric slugger is so unique. Donnellan has been asked to play the national anthem at major league games across the country. Fascinating and attracting new fans and crowds, big and small. And everybody wants a closer look. I built it. I built it. Yeah, here. Take a look. How did you come up with it? I've realized now that when I meet someone and I've got it, I just hand it to them because it's not a Stradivarius. And keep it held up and then your bow won't slide down toward me. There you go. Donnellan makes it seem simple, but it's about precision. Your very own genuine Louisville Slugger. Here. Wow. Something Louisville Slugger employees understand. Maybe have to turn this into a fiddle and play, play a <laughs> back in black on And it. appreciate. Music to me is all about sharing, and it's about making people feel good. Mission accomplished. I think sharing that joy and that excitement, it's kind of like what baseball does for kids. It's got to land right here, doesn't it? It gives us something that we can root for, something that we can see how it works, and enjoy watching it play out in front of us. <laughs> 